Welcome back to an episode of Miss Michaela G. Today we're talking about Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a 10 organization hacks that you need to know from back to school. And I like to consider myself as a very organized person most of the time. I definitely was when it came to schoolwork and stuff. So I wanted to share with you a few helpful hints that'll hopefully you know, help you for the school year and different things like that. And I did want to say a massive, massive thank you to everyone that entered the giveaway in my previous video. It's still going on for like two weeks, so make sure you go enter, but I was literally blown away with the response and you guys are so sweet and just awesome. So thank you so much. I had like a really good week because I've been so positive and vibing off of that. And I did want to say thank you so much for 66,000 subscribers on here, that's incredible. And also I'm so, so close to 5,000 on Instagram, so make sure you go follow me. My links will be down below and at the end of the video and everything, so yeah, go check out my social and enter the giveaway for back to school. I'm giving away a whole bunch of beauty products if you didn't know, so make sure you go check that out. Without further ado though, let's go ahead and jump into the organization hacks. My first tip for organization is to have a clean and tidy study space. I like to keep my desk super organized and nice and bright and fresh to make me want to study more and this also just helps your mind stay clear and focused. Moving into some laptop tricks, uh, if you're a Mac user you've probably had this happen to you. And the first thing that I like to do when that pops up is to basically organize your life on your laptop. So make folders, organize your photos, that type of thing. And if you have a little bit of trouble seeing where your you know, space is coming from, where you need to make some more room, I recommend using Daisy Disk. You can download it from the internet and it actually saves your life because it just scans your computer and tells you where everything is. Number four is to organize your apps on your iPhone and put them into folders and categories. So have all your editing apps in one for photos and then only music in one. This basically just keeps your head clear for everything on your iPhone and it keeps it looking fresh. Maybe change the background to spice it up a little bit and you're good to go for school. And I have mentioned this in a video before and that is basically to label your items with washi tape. I included this in my nine ways to use washi tape video but I figured I'd go ahead and share with you this tip again just to keep all your pencils and pen you know in line and make sure people know that they're yours and it's just a fun way to decorate your school supplies you can do it to absolutely anything binders you know washi tape is pretty versatile so you can pretty much put it on anything but it is really easy to put on pencils and pens and I really like this tip because if I had washi tape back when I was in high school I would definitely put it on pretty much everything Moving on to a study tip, and I don't know if you guys are like me, and I can hardly ever write notes as well as listen to my teachers, so I ask them to email me PowerPoints or the notes if they're able to. This saves you so much time because you can actually listen to the lecture and then write the notes later when you have some free time. I also find that it you know, helps you um, retain the information a little bit more. And then once you're done, every unit, test, or practice quiz, what I like to do is declutter my binder and put things into a big file folder. And this is a really great idea if you're in high school and you have units pretty much every week and then you have a final test, and then you have like a midterm and a final. This basically keeps all your flashcards, practice tests, notes in one spot so when it does come down to the final or like everything is in one spot and you know exactly where it is when it comes time to study. Number eight is having a planner, and this is pretty much mentioned in every organizational video ever, and it's so true because a planner does keep you super organized, and my tips are just basically to write in different colors or highlight in different colors to keep you organized for different subjects and really coordinate them in a way that you know works for you. And if you have a new planner that you have yet to write anything in but you're really excited, I suggest going through and writing birthdays, special events, holidays, and maybe even like days that you're not going to have school just so you have everything organized and maybe it's something to look forward to when you turn the page. My second to last tip is to pack everything the night before. This is going to keep your study space really clean and you're going to know that you have everything to go for the next day. It kind of keeps your brain and your mind at ease a little for the next day because you know everything is pretty much packed and ready to go and you're not missing anything and all your homework's there. 
And number 10 is to have all the essentials. This is basically everything that was mentioned in my previous video and I also have a giveaway going on so make sure you go check that out and see all the essentials that you definitely need for school. So those are all the organization hacks that I have for you for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and if you'd like to see more videos like this. I think I have one more back to school video planned for you guys and that'll be coming hopefully next week sometime. Super excited for it, look out for it. And again, don't forget to enter the giveaway in my previous video and follow me on all my social media and Snapchat, which are like right down there, you can check it out. And subscribe if you haven't yet already, and I will see you lovely people in my next video. Have a great day. Bye.